what's going on guys it's ega prime back here again and today i received my five inch lcd screen i'm gonna do a quick little unboxing comes with this thing i think it's called the dvd I don't know because I've never used them. Um, mounting hardware and the HDMI little coupler, which is really cool. You see it's got two HDMI ports there. Pin, not going to need that. I'm not worried about the touch. So here's the screen here. Um, it's the version two. HDMI power on off switch. Um, your GPIO connectors for the touch. But I needed this because I have a project that I am doing for my first instructable. Let's see if this thing works. Now I've already set up the SD card with um, RetroPie and I have configured it to a 800 by 600 resolution, whatever this thing is. I think it's 800 by 600. Either way, I'm just going to pop it on here. And that's totally wrong looking at the dang camera. So now we just take this little guy. Pretty cool. Right here I have a 5200 milliamp hour. This is a two cell 18650 um, Samsung batteries. This little guy right here is a charger slash USB power output. So what this does is it takes the 3.7 volts and turns it into 5 volts. Now this unit that I have here is only one amp. I have several more coming that are supposed to be rated at 3 amps. So hopefully we'll be able to get a good power supply from the battery system the charger slash um, up converter to the Raspberry Pi because what I want to do is create a handheld retro Pi system. I know everybody's done, there's thousands of them really. I know a lot of people have done the Game Boy setups, but I want a bigger screen. And we already have our low power light here, which is fine for now because I know that this is not putting out enough juice. I guarantee it would power the Raspberry Pi 1 I have, but this is a Raspberry Pi 3 and it's actually still overclocked. So I know this unit here will not give me enough juice to run this like it needs to be run. When you get this little rainbow in the corner, it means your power is going down past 4.65 volts. This thing needs five volts. So the new up converter, DC to DC up converter, or they call it a buckboard, that I'm getting is adjustable, and it is supposed to put out up to three amps. grab my keyboard here I'm trying to get this um, to 
to look decent on this screen here, this camera, it's going to be kind of hard. And the screen, it really doesn't look bad in real life. It was 26 bucks shipped on eBay. I will be, the only reason I got this screen was because it's super cheap, 26 bucks to do an experiment with. I would like to find a nice high gloss HD screen. I'm just gonna plug in. And this isn't going to work until I start the game with it. Let me get a little closer to the screen here with my uh, camera set up. Yeah, so it doesn't look bad in real life. Um, I'm just hooked up with my controller here. My only concern is hopefully the components I bought will put out the two, at least two amps. I'm not worried about the Pi 3 being overclocked when I use it inside of the case that I designed, but I just wanted something a little bigger than the Game Boy. So I opted for a five inch screen and I believe it's gonna come out pretty good. If I cannot get enough power to the Raspberry Pi 3, I will just opt to use a Raspberry Pi 1, possibly the 2, and I should have no problem though, this should be pretty cool, so um, keep an eye out for this project, I will be detailing it in videos, plus I'll be on Instructables um, uploading the steps that you need to do to make one of these, and it's actually, as of right now, it's going to be about a hundred bucks, which isn't bad. You can do all the soldering and everything yourself and you should have no problem. Cool guys, I appreciate you watching. That's a little mini review and unboxing of the five inch add-on screen for the Raspberry Pi. I like it. I think it's gonna come out great, so. Like always guys, thanks for watching.